I first grabbed a pizza pan from Dollar Tree and then using Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, I gave the pizza pan two good coats of this. You wanna just dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then just allow everything to completely dry. And once that was dry, I grabbed some of this school glue. I just got this from Dollar Tree. I just poured a generous amount right on top of the pizza pan, use a paintbrush to apply that on. And before this glue dries, you wanna make sure that the glue does not dry. I'm going to go over it with Waverly chalk paints in the color plaster. Now you wanna make sure you have a generous amount of the chalk paints on your paintbrush, and you wanna make sure that you're only going in one direction. So I'm just kinda of swooping my paintbrush back and forth, and that's it. You don't wanna go left and right when you're already going up and down with the paintbrush. I hope that makes sense. But once the paint starts to dry, you're going to start to see that crackle effect just form right before your eyes. It's so cool. I then grabbed this window Klingon from Walmart and I will be using some Mod Podge, just placing that onto the back of the Klingon that I will be using, which is the reindeer with the wreath. It's super cute. So you wanna just make sure you have a nice even coat, make sure the Mod Podge is evenly distributed onto the back of that Klingon, and then just place that right onto the pizza pan using my hands to make sure it is completely adhered and smoothed down, no air bubbles, and then just using my blow dryer to make sure that Mod Podge is completely dry underneath. I then grabbed these evergreen pieces off of Amazon. I'm just placing two of them together, just kind of fluffing them out as I go, and then lying down another two right next to it, and then just using a zip tie to hold those together. That just ensures that it is a nice, strong hold. And then go ahead and grab that pizza pan and then just find a good placement for those evergreen on the bottom of that pizza pan. And I will be using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue. It's a great substitute for E6000. You could find that at Dollar Tree with a mixture of hot glue and just holding those evergreen down until that glue completely adheres for about 10 or 15 minutes. I then made a bow off of my Easy Bow Maker, just glued that down as well. I then grabbed these beads off of Amazon. These are so cute. And I just started putting those right on to some jute string to create a garland. And once I had those all put on to my string, I went ahead and just hot glue that to the back side of the pizza pan. Using that same adhesive glue with hot glue, just hold that down until both of those glues completely adhere. And there you go, guys. I think this came out so adorable. I love that you could see the crackle peeking through that window cling. It literally looks like weathered wood, but on a metal pizza pan. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.